In today's video, me and Shay are going to be showing you three of our rarest ammonite fossils. Each of them are unique in their own way and we'll be showing you and describing parts of them to you as well. We've also got several clips of some of our favourite ammonite openings from down on the beach, so I'll be putting some of those in throughout the video too. Today we're going to be showing some more ammonite fossils, similar to in a recent video which we uploaded down at the beach. We've again got some pretty exciting and pretty rare ammonite specimens. Shay's going to be talking about them. We've got three in total. We've got a smaller ammonite and a really huge example of the same ammonite. And we've also got one with a little lobster preserved next to it which is one that we've only ever found once and never found since. So it's a very rare example. We've also got some examples of some ammonites to split open yourself at home. So we'll be showing you some of them at the end of the video as well. Let's get straight into it and have a look at that first ammonite. Okay, so here's a look at the first ammonite. Let's have a look around the nodule and a little look at the ammonite itself. We'll have a little look around it and then Shay's going to talk about it a bit and do some explaining. It's absolutely incredible. So the first ammonite that we're looking at here is a Harposerus ammonite and it was in a pyritic nodule but as you can see all of the pyrite is actually worn away probably because it's been in the sea for a very long time. This is the final product after being prepared. You can see that the ammonite once was quite a bit bigger than what you can see here. It probably stopped just there, that's where the mouth border was. But because it was all crushed, we decided to remove that part of the ammonite so we had it perfectly in 3D form. There's some amazing detail on it, I love the colours. This is the first example of a Harposerus that we're showing you today, but we have got a much larger one, which we're about to show you. Let's have a look at it. Let's do it. Just before we have a look at it, here's the first of our ammonite openings from today. This was filmed quite a while ago on one of our most productive fossil hunts in terms of ammonites. Let's break it open. Yeah. Oh, wow. Very good. It opened really well, as you can tell, with just a little bit of limestone in the centre to be removed with some tools later on. Now let's have a look at that massive ammonite. Here's a look at the much bigger ammonite, which we're about to show you. Hopefully Aaron doesn't make me uh, hold on to, on, on to it for too long because it's pretty heavy. Gosh, look at that. It's really impressive. It's an absolute beast as well. It, I don't know if it comes across properly on the camera, but it's such a huge ammonite. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. We'll have to show you it compared to the other ammonites as well, so you can properly appreciate the size. That is just something else. Okay, so let's have a close up of this absolute beast of an ammonite. So this one's a Harposerus too, and if you can notice, there's actually a, a crack going along here, and that's why when we found it, the nodule actually broke that way, so we had it glued back together, and then prepared out, and you can barely see the the crack in the ammonite itself, so... Just put your hand next to it to try and get across the size. It looks small on the camera. Well, my hands are pretty... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but take our word for it, it's a... It really is a huge ammonite. We've got this ammonite next to it. This is the first one we showed you. And the actual ammonite itself is, you know, the same or bigger than this entire nodule with the ammonite in. It really is awesome. Yeah. 
here's another ammonite opening. We'll have a look at this one, and then we'll have a look at that other fossil, which contains the lobster and the ammonite. I've got a few more clips of chipping out belemnites and opening ammonites, which I'll put at the very end of the video for anyone who'd like to watch a few more of them. Whoa! Absolutely stunning. That was a clean break. <laughs> Let's have a look at the lobster. Last but not least, we're about to show you the nodule with the ammonite and the little lobster. So let's have a little closer look at it. It really is amazing. It must be super rare to get one like this. Gosh, it's basically a complete lobster side by side. To get a lobster like that, it's rare enough, isn't it? Never mind with an ammonite preserved with it. It's got some amazing claws. Yeah. A work of art. We're really happy with this specimen and it's safe to say, I don't think we'll be finding another piece like this for a very long time. Oh, I don't say that. <laughs> I want to find a few more. <laughs> it's so rare to find a lobster by itself, never mind with an ammonite. Yeah, absolutely. Right, what's next? Let's have a look at the ammonite nodules to split open yourself. Right, and let's have a look at those nodules. There's all different sorts of shapes and sizes here. There's some with the ammonite completely sticking out of the nodule. This one's a dactyloceros. And then we've got others, which are quite a bit larger, but you can only see part of the ammonite sticking out the side. And this is a tenucostatum ammonite. But just to give you a comparison of size, he's a, a smaller ammonite. And here is one of the much larger tenucostatum nodules. And then here's an even larger dactyloceros. We only keep the ones that look like they're going to split pretty easily. We usually split the harder to split ones on the beach ourselves to give other people the chance to be able to crack these ones at home. If you do decide to get some of these ammonites, we'd really appreciate it because it really does help support the page, help support me as well now that I do this full time. But we usually suggest that you get a few nodules rather than just one because it really is a gamble splitting the nodules because they're all completely natural you don't know whether they're going to split perfectly or not so we would recommend five or six nodules just to maximize your chances of getting some nice split ones very nice it's certainly a lot of fun opening them up so thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video and at the end of this video as always we've got Shay's contact details for if you'd like to get your hands on some ammonites. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next one. Shay's contact details will be on screen in just a moment however first off as promised I've got some more ammonite clips to have a look at. The first one is revealing this beautiful elegantiserous ammonite from a big shale slab. We also have an ammonite opening coming up and then chipping out a belemnite. I'll let you enjoy these and then contact Shea if you'd like to. And otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.
awesome.